Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your first product to your Jumia store, especially if you've not added it before. Now, there are three ways to add product to Jumia store. The first one is you either create the product from scratch. In this method, you have full control over everything. You add your product, your brand, your product line, everything by yourself. It takes time, but I, I would say it's one of my preferred method. The second method is to use the sell yours feature on Jumia. On Jumia, you can see the products you want to sell. Other people might be selling the same products or similar kind of products. You can just click on the button and every detail the person has will be transferred to your account and you can just simply exchange some of the features that right there. It's very, very fast, this method. And the third one is to import products. So let's say you have products in bulk that you like to sell and you don't want to be adding them one after the other, like these two options, you can simply go with this third option. Now, in this video, I'm going to be focusing on these two options right here because, of course, you're starting new and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm assuming that you don't have a lot of products to add at once. You just want to add a few products. So let's go with these two. So back in 2018, I made a video showing you how you can add products to your store in five minutes or less. Now, this video will be more than five minutes. I can assure you that because I want to tackle some of the problems some new sellers are facing on Jumia that are making you not getting sales because you add your product the wrong way and you are complaining that you're not getting sales. I want to tackle some of these things in this particular video. Now, for you to add products in your store, the first thing you have to do, you need to log into your store. If you don't have a store on Jumia, you can watch one of my videos on my channel that will show you how you can create your store on Jumia right now. Okay, so once you're done with that, creating your store, you can simply come to sellercenter.jumia.com.ng. Now, this is for Nigeria. If you're in Ghana, you can just type .gh. It goes like that. Now, once you create your store and you can just simply log in, put in your email address here, the email address you use in creating your store, your password, then you click on login. Now, once you log into your seller center like this, like I said, there are three methods to add your product to your store. The first method is to come over here, down here to product. Now, I'm going to make a video and show you how, how to navigate through the seller center uh, dashboard, how to go check your orders and print your orders. Go, we've done some videos about that and everything on this. I'm going to make a video and do that. But in this video, how to add product. Now, the first method I want to talk about is creating the product from scratch. Okay, now if you want to create a product from scratch, you need to understand the category your product falls under. Okay, now one of the ways to understand it is to go to settings, go to your profile. You're going to see a section like this, commissions and fees. Click on it. I made a video showing you about the Jumia commissions and everything like that. So this, what I'm showing you right now is to kind of understand what Jumia will charge you for the particular category that you want to list your product in. Now, once you come over here, you click on commission and commission and fees. You come over to the first tab where you say commissions, you click view. Now, let me, let me not assume that you know your category. Let me not assume. Now, go over to Jumia, type the same product you want to sell. In this, in this uh, video, I want to sell uh, multivitamins. I want to add a multivitamins to my store, right? So I click on multivitamin and I enter. Now you're going to see a bunch of listing on that particular uh, search query. You can see 4,054 items found by typing multivitamins. Now, most of these products here are not multivitamins, all right? But the reason why they are showing here because these sellers chose the multivitamins category. Now, let me show you, click on this. Let me open to a new tab. You can see that this product is obviously not a multivitamin. It's a skin anti-aging pill, but it's showing right here on the category of multi, of, uh, of vitamins and supplements. It might be a supplement, but it's not multi, not a vitamins, I don't know. So, but, what I want to point out here is that you need to add your product on the right category. So let's say this particular product, you saw it from the listing, is the exact same product you want to sell, exact same product or similar kind of product you want to sell. Now you look at the category and the first method, I'm showing you how to create your product from scratch. When you know the category, you come over here and you look at the uh, category right here just to know how much Jumia will charge you. So the first thing we are seeing here is health and beauty, right? So you come by, you click on the plus sign, health and beauty. The second, the subcategory is vitamins and dietary supplement. The third, uh, the sub subcategory is vitamins and minerals. So we we'll come by here, we look for vitamins and that supplement. So you can see that we don't have to go for that because everything here is just 15%. So Jimia will take 15% as their commission when 
uh, you have a sale. So keep this in mind. Keep this in mind when adding your product to a particular category. Now, now we know our category that we want to add our product. Let's come over to the to the top. Now we'll go back to create products. We want to create this product to our store. The first method is creating it from scratch. You come to product, you click on it, you scroll down, and you click on create a new product. Click on that. It's going to bring a dash, take you to the dashboard like this. Now, right here, you come over here and you click on create a new product again. So in your case, it's going to show you browse category. Yeah, it's not going to show you most used category because it's a brand new store. Okay, now browse category. Remember, we know our category. It's health and beauty. The subcategory is vitamins and dietary supplements. And the third category, if you're selling just supplement that is not multivitamins or vitamins, you can simply just use uh, vitamins. Then choose the category. Is a fish, fish oil or something? Yeah, you just choose it right here. But if it's a vitamins, you can simply choose vitamins and choose. You can see this particular person choose vitamins and D3, and you can see that the product is vitamin D3. You can see how the product is showing on the, the exact uh, category. So in our case. We're not selling anything in this section. We're selling something from this particular section. And I will just choose multivitamin because my product is a multivitamin. And I will click select. Now, once I click select, right here, like I said earlier on, you have the total control of the whole listing of products. Another thing I want you to put in mind that many sellers do not is content score. Now, on Jumia, the higher your content score, the better your, your product listing. Okay, you can see the directives or the instructions given to you in order to hit hundred or a higher percentage. So your title should not should be between fifteen and sixty, not be more than shouldn't be more than sixty. Your description should be above one hundred and fifty words. You should have some bullet points in your descriptions. Your your description should have some bold tags. You understand all these things you need to fill it up in order when you are adding product to your store so the first thing you need to do you need to add add the name of the product to your store and make sure it's not above 60 words the next thing is the brand you need to add the brand if the brand is not known it's not a known brand you can simply use generic but if it's a fashion item you can simply use fashion if it's not a known brand but if it's a known brand let's say um which brand should i even use right now let's say natural let's see what will come up so let's say the, the brand is Agan Nature or something. Agan Nature. You put the brand there. Yeah. This particular one, the brand is what? Life extension. You can see the person just chose life extension. Yeah. You can see right there. That's the name of the brand. You have to put the brand of the product when adding your product. Many sellers do not do this and they have issues when they want to go and ship. So once you do that, you put the name of the product here. Yeah. Name of the product, just the way you can see this person did theirs. I think this is really long, but you can try not yours not to be more than uh, 60 words. So let me just paste this here and see how many words this is. So you can see this is 85 words. It's more than 60 words. Now we can take some things out. So let's say I take some of this uh, stuff out. Let's see where we are. It's on 67. I take this out. Uh, it's on 59. You can see how it increases. Okay. Now, once you're done with this section, you just simply click Enter Product Details. There are four sections you're filling: the product information, the more product details, product pricing, and images. This is really simple to do. Trust me. The next thing you add your product line. This is basically the name of your store. Okay. You add the name of your store here. The venture type determines. For what venture the seller is creating the products? In my case, I want to do Jumia Mall because I'm not selling food. So once you're done with that, if you have the color, the color family, the type and the main material, you put it there. If you don't have it, you leave it. Now the next section is the description. You need to add description of your product. In my case, I have my website where I sell my product from. So I have all the details of my product right here so if i'm creating my product from scratch it's really easy for me because i'll just i have all the details i'll just come over here and type all my all the details of my product right here on jumia okay if you don't have to do that you can just go to notepad paste it to remove the feature the come over here and paste it all right so i'm just going to add all the details now i have to add details that are more than 150 words before this will click uh, enter green like this so the same thing you come by you choose your highlight you need to have four or more highlights you can see i have four or more highlights here 
take out four here well, i can see add more because it's my product so i can add more you can see how it's increasing now it's yellow because i have more than four now if i add more more here it will increase also now next thing they say we should do we should uh product country where is it actually what's in the box you need to add let's say i have one times one bottle of the super multi capsule right that's what's in the box that's what they're getting what they're getting is one bottle you can do one times or one bottle of the super multi yeah you need to put that there now note you need to put something like shouldn't be taken by nursing mother you can see how it's increasing because we just did our note what we need to do next is the attribute country so you go to the attribute now you choose uh the country the product was made if it's in china you simply choose china but this my product is not made in china it's made in the uk so i'll just choose united kingdom choose uk all right so you can see how it's now if i add description that are above uh let's say i add i make this more than 150 words okay you can see how i will enter everything everything green now i'm just showing you this a sample just doing something just to make this more than 150 so let's see boom you can see 100 content score right because i have my title be, uh, below 60 i have my description above 150 i have everything so make sure you try to fill in as much details as you can now you don't have to do all this this is spamming this is not good to read so you don't have to do some stuff like this you can just put it once and put more details about your product you have to be descriptive as descriptive as possible so that people can easily understand the kind of product you sell now once you're done with this session let's say you have 100 here you're done with that you click on enter product variation okay here we've not added the weight let's say the weight is 0 0.3 so you click on enter product variation right here is where you add the product sku sku means stock keeping units mean is a code which you can use to identify your product on jumia so in my case i simply use the name of my store just a code of my store the name of the product some code if this is the first product i'm adding i can say 001 like so now i'll leave this part blank i have i think i have 400 of this product i'll put it down here now this pricing session is also a very important part many people do not take note of now, if you look at this particular person, the person said I'm selling 8,400. That's not a good example for me to use. Let's scroll down and look for a good example. So look at this one right here. The person said 16,300, but I'm giving a discount of, uh, I'm selling 15,003. This one said 30K, 24 something. Now, if you're selling this product in my website, you can see that the product is 12,005. So, but let's say I want to give a discount on Jumia and I want to say, okay, I want to sell this product for 11,500 naira. I'm giving 1000 naira discount. Jumia will ask you, when is this sale starting? I can say today being the 26th of June, 2022. And if I don't want this sale to ever end, I just want to sell 11.5 every time on Jumia. I can just simply choose the same date and change this to like 2026 or 2025. All right. Now, if many people, what they do is that they just choose the date. They can choose on the 27th or they choose... um. Or they choose let's say they can just choose another date let's say they choose uh july 30th right now what will happen is that let's say you put eighteen thousand a year on this date on this particular date july 30th right the next month jumia will kind of off the sale and take the price to this 18.5 many people start complaining that their sale automatically dropped because you need to check your listing and see that the price the sale price is no more there is now the real price like the real price of the product and many people will stop buying because let's say somebody come back to buy and they bought it 11.5 and they came back the next week and they are seeing 18,005 so you have to if you're not giving discount per se you have to change this to a very long time between 24 and 25 but if you are giving discount for real you can choose the period at which you are giving the discount if you don't want to give discount at all you can simply just take this off and just leave this as the main price Okay, but I'm giving discount in my own. So the next session, once you're done with this section, you click on upload images. Now, right here, you choose, you click on here, you click on this browse. It's going to take you to your dashboard, to your your web, your laptop, right? Where you choose the images or choose an image of the product you want to add. Okay. So basically, once you add the product, you can add as many as up to eight, as many as you want. I think eight is the maximum. Then when you're done, make sure your product size is above, is from 200 to 200 pixels to 3000. Basically, square formats. Yeah, you can have 1000 by 1000, 500 by 500. 
you can use Canva to do that. That's a very simple thing. I might make a video showing you how to do that, but it's very simple. You can just go on Canva or any app and just choose 500 by 500 and upload it here. Okay. Now, once you're done with that, you click submit and finish. Jumia will now approve this. If your seller score is 100, it takes less time for them to approve. If it's less than 100, it takes more time. This is basically how to add products from scratch. You come over here, create a new product, choose your categories like we've done here. You add the product title. You make sure you put the content score in mind. Now you fill all the fill, fill, fill up the details if you have them. Click on next. Fill this section if you have them. Scroll down to the next. You click it. Now you can either scroll down or you just simply click on the tab at the top here if you want to navigate to different section. I hope you really understand this part. Now let's move to the part where you want to add a product that someone is already selling. Your kind of product someone is already selling. So let's say somebody is selling. Uh, let's say I have this exact product to sell, right? This particular product, I have it to sell. So I'll scroll down here and I'll come to this section where they said, have one to sell. Click here to list your product. I'll simply click on that. It's going to take me down to Jumia. Because I am logged in, it's going to open up on my seller account like this. Okay, all the details will just pop up. First thing first, it will take you to product pricing, but you have to go back to the product information because you need to change the details. You can see if your product is exact because from here, you cannot edit the category. All right, make sure you note that. Now, if the product is exact, I'll just come over here and change some things. Let's say I remove this part. It's 56 now, right? So let's say this is my product. This is the exact product I want to sell. Now, this is the exact uh, brand name. I'll come over here and click enter product details. Now, here, product line, I'll just choose my, my store, my store name. Yeah, write my store name there. How do I want to sell the product? I want to sell it on Jumia Mall. Does it have color family? No, I don't have all those details right here. Do I have this? Let me see if this is, because see this is 190 words, it's above 150. So check, let's say, let's say this is exactly the details of my product. I will leave it like so. Now, do, you, do I have a YouTube video? I don't have a YouTube video. I'm sure if you have a YouTube video, you can simply see what you will copy. You're not going to copy the full URL. You're just going to copy only the code after the equals to copy the code and paste it here. That's what you do, but I don't have a YouTube URL. Now the, uh, what do you call it? The bullet point you can see is more than four, obviously. So let's say everything is the same. What's in the box? I'm giving one bottle of that product. Yeah. So products. Yeah. Where's my O? So that's it. Now, um, attributes. Make sure you add your notes. You can see it increases to 100 because this person did not add notes. Make sure it's not taken by nothing mothers, of course. So once I'm done with everything, I look at the weights. Of course, it's the same weight as mine. I'll click on enter product details. Here again, like we say, you choose your own product uh, SKU. I've told you in the previous part how to do that. You come over here, you add the unit you have, you add the price you want to sell, you add your discount price you want to sell. You come over here, you choose the sell sale date, which is the present date, the very day you are starting this. Then you choose the end date. Like I said earlier, if you don't want to give end it, you don't want it to end, you can just choose 2025. Then you go next, you click on upload products. If these products are the same with what you have, if they are the same, you don't have to change anything. You just leave it like that. But if they are not the same, you simply remove them and add your own product. So if you are done with everything, you click submit and finish. You can see how simple it is to add your product to Jumia, right? To add your product in bulk, I'm going to do that on a separate video. You can just simply click import product right here, but that's not what we're teaching today. So I hope you've understood how to add product to your Jumia store. Like I said, you can add the product by creating it from scratch. You can also add the product by using the sell yours uh, feature. So these are the two methods uh, I've taught you in this video on how to add your product to Jumia store in 2022. If you like this video and you want more videos like this, make sure you click on the subscribe button below this video. Also hit the bell notification icon so that you never miss a single video whenever I upload it. And trust me, more videos are coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next.